What I remember vividly is when I was coming back from school by bicycle in the winter, um, there was a sort of the middle of the trip, there was a distillery belonging to my grandfather. And very often I was stopping there, it was a distillery like you've seen yesterday, except that it was heated by coal and you had the mouth of the oven, this huge red light of the fire and the smell of the young cognac. Richard Hennessy got French citizenship and was awarded coat of arms. A hand axe is represented on the coat of arms as well as the following words. Vi vivo et armis. This is Bagnolet, a city where August Richard Hennessy settled. The word Bagnolet stands for natural source. Before the revolution in 1810, the Ogier built a chateau in the park of Cognac that was bordered with the department of Charonne. Since 1840, Chateau is owned by Hennessy's. This house belonged to Maurice Hennessy. Chateau de Bagnolet is one of the most known hotels that hosted very famous people of all times, from Duke of Kent to director Oliver Stone. Hello, hello and welcome. Welcome to the Distillerie du Peu. The Distillerie du Peu is one of the Hennessy distilleries, and this is where some of the magic of the Hennessy Cognacs will happen. Well, Hennessy is Hennessy. Now, the other Cognac do their own job, it will tell you their own thing. And uh, in this very cellar, we can witness you know, some of the finest, some of the most prestigious, some of the most exquisite eau de vies that compose the most refined blend in the collection, the most refined um, references in the Hennessy collection. We're talking about Hennessy Paradis, but also Hennessy Paradis Imperial, Richard Hennessy. All these beautiful blends, all these beautiful cognacs come from beautiful eau de vies that spent some time here in this very cellar. Well, you know, 40, 50 years ago, you still showed uh, people enjoying cognac uh, in front of a fireplace with a Labrador dog and a big balloon glass and all that. I mean, now it's completely different. Mm -hmm.